It's goose time, baby. Uh, I am gonna warm up a little bit. Because it has actually been since the Red Bull run that I played. Which... Is... Three weeks ago? I've been doing very good at this weekly thing. So what I'm thinking for today, um, Undead Force is going to be busy, which is entirely cool. So during my break, I'll like take a moment to just straight up enter the times into the spreadsheet and just make notes of which ones stand out as being improvable. Um, I think that's going to be the best way to go about it. So that is going to mean a slightly longer break, but of course for the YouTube upload that will not matter. I think I'm good to go, honestly. Might struggle a bit with some of the skips, but then again, when do I not? So. Uh, actually, I feel like the audio might be kind of quiet. I think I did change that for the Pokemon Rumble run. Which, by the way, I also still need to highlight and submit. Um. OBS. Yeah, I think I had it at 80% previously. I feel like that seems right on the audio mixer. Wild Goose. I'm also uploading the Red Bull, Red Bull video to YouTube as we speak. Because uh, I've also not uploaded that in those, I think, two weeks that I've been away. Three weeks, actually. So, the Goose does have bad acceleration. Um, so I have to be very careful with my turning. Gaming. What's up, five bats? Hope you're doing good. Turning on this is quite nice, though. actually get away with writing my time in a little notepad in the time after I finish the track, but before the next one. Yo, Doc! Thank you so much for good luck. Probably gonna be a little bit rusty today, so a little bit of luck would be nice. Oh, you did? Nice, which one? Yeah, I would imagine Maximum Velocity is definitely the one that's most common of the GBA games. With Climax not being localized and the GP Legends selling quite poorly. Um, Oh heck yeah, five ads. Yeah, you've been on fire with that game. It'll be very good to see you get that deserved top 10. But yeah, I think Maximum Velocity is a pretty solid game. 
maybe not the most... The game with the most longevity from, like, a non-speedrunning perspective. But I do prefer many things about it over uh, GP Legends. Vroom vroom, indeed. Hope you're doing good. the worst slowdown, but also definitely not good. And this is also gonna slow me down a bit. Nope, it didn't. Boost timing just about worked out. That almost killed me because of the landing. <laughs> uh, 74 and 7. Star. Yeah, it's actually pretty doable to just track these times myself. In fact, what if I just immediately put him into the spreadsheet? That could be a thing. Uh, probably not gonna have time to set that up during this run, but maybe for next week. I say next week with the full intent of actually having it be next week. But those who have known me for a bit longer know that I kind of struggle with schedules. But yeah, it's been... It has been a somewhat peri busy period in my life, so... It happens. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Flat here, you're doing well. Oh, that's uh, 29. <laughs> Definitely expecting some some more menuing mistakes today because of being more preoccupied in between tracks. Oh, I've not heard of that, no. A racing game in the style of parkour. That sounds pretty interesting. Yeah, feel free to drop any kind of like gameplay video or trailer in my Discord because that sounds intriguing. Thank you, thank you. So, as I recall, last week, I only died twice in Platinum Cup, I wanna say. Now, the rest of the run mostly was quite solid. I think I messed up Mist Swing, probably did. Yeah, I think because I couldn't do the lab 1 skip, or I thought I couldn't. Uh, 
Yeah, if I can just keep up with the Red Bull run, then not the faith. You could still get the PB. PBs are definitely getting harder to achieve now, but a Deathless run will still definitely PB, no matter what happens. That was the wrong button. Ooh, I was really afraid I was gonna hit the wall there. 60.69. Good job! Select your four on top. Nice. Nice. Yeah, feed him. Pretty good about today. Um, not too many expectations. I like doing super well. Just gaming. Trying to really conserve my speed. It's just not easy. Was a really bad attempt right there. Um, I fumbled my inputs. Didn't take a direct enough path to the right. <laughs> also, you're the reason I exploded. Thanks a lot, Rail. <laughs> Just kidding, of course. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Glad to hear. Well, I'm gonna try to skip again. Because I just don't learn. I even still have my speed. Oh, baby. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I guess I can't do it again. Probably for the best. Seventy-six point eighty-three. 
put my earphone back in, please? <laughs> oh gosh, that's entirely too many things to be doing at once. Okay, um... Two. I'll get the stretch in now. He hated it? Oh man. Uh, it's kind of tough to get people into the 2D F0 games. Needlessly complicated. Oh. I mean. I guess I understand. Like, in most racing games, if you just, if you want to turn, you just turn, right? It's like, you don't have to worry about blast tapping. Mostly that, I guess. <laughs> or, I guess, trafing factors into it. I guess some people might not find that intuitive. I, I guess that's fair enough, honestly. Because not really the target audience just just wants to be able to turn. Just go. <laughs> hey, Goose has really nice speed retention, as it turns out, when you're not turning. It's 87. Oh, 8. Open up my can of drink. Good job. Don't forget to split. I picked the wrong track, didn't I? How did I end up here? <laughs> I'm entirely putting too much. I'm having to split my attention between too many things. <laughs> did I accidentally go to Silver Cup? I guess I did. Can I get a sip of drink? Got it. <laughs> Just in time. Yo, J Dizzle. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, that would have been nice, huh, Rail? Okay, isn't it that way in GX? I feel like it is. Did I watch Pace? Nope. Didn't watch any of it. To be fair, I've not even been at my PC much at all. Especially this weekend, we had company over. Okay. Good job. Yeah, sounds good. Was it a lot of tight races or like any runs that could have been world record pace?
Okay, I, I'm gonna sound stupid right now, but I don't remember being on commentary for a GDQ. Um, which one was it specifically? Like, I've done several marathon runs, like commentary. I don't remember doing it for a GDQ. That might just be dumb. Ooh. Okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, 69.57. Might have been an online one. Is failing me. Yeah, like, I definitely did the F0 Central events. <laughs> like, there's a good chance it was a different marathon, or there's also a good chance I'm just bad. Actually. I'm just trying to think. What would have even been at a GDQ? Like maybe one of David's snaking runs? But I don't think I would have been on commentary for that. Yeah. Not too great there. Blame it on the rest. Oh yeah, was there for David's right? Okay. I legitimately forgot. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, fair enough then. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's just me being crazy. Don't worry about it. Silver Cup yet. It's funny because when you said that, I, I had like this vague memory of being in the SGDQ server, like Discord server for commentary. But I was like, I can't recall what run that possibly could have been. I thought it might have been for like a Golden Sun run. Something like that. Then I don't think that was at GDQ, I think that was just on... Well, I guess G GDQ hotfix is like close enough, but then that wouldn't have been on the SGDQ Discord. Who fucking knows what my brain's doing. Let's just try to focus on the F-Zero going on right now, because that's... that could be going a bit better. Good job. 
Uh, Goose is pretty decent, yeah. It's definitely gonna suck in Platinum Cup. Uh, but for the rest, it's like... Three, solid. Two, one, it's yeah. good for a machine with bad acceleration pattern. Which is to say, turning deceleration. But yeah, it's it's got good top speed, it's got a good boosts. It's got good speed uh, retention. It's just the speed loss when turning really sucks. Actually, a pretty solid run. I'm happy with that. Good job. Oh, Choose your vehicle. Wild right, time to turn this around. Three, Actually, this is not a good goose track. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, very true. Um, yeah, thankfully it's not time for that track yet. That'll be Platinum Cup. I was not holding my boost for s or like, yeah, I was like holding off on boosting for so long and I still got back to 1920. The speed retention on this thing is kind of sick, not gonna lie. A lot better than I remembered. <laughs> I feel when you got a new booster. I mean, hey. Announcer guy is being helpful. Kinda. In his own way. It's the most helpful he's ever been. More helpful than like literally anything else he says, so small victories, you know. Baby double link. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's. I mean, I would I wouldn't know how to do it, but there's people who are smart enough to 
be able to do that without needing leaked source code. Ah, <laughs> uh, Jay Dizzle. You hurt me, but it's true. <laughs> I'm making the announcer just every turn you take. Keep it up. You're doing great. You're keeping the lead. God, make the fal make the announcer do falcon punches and falcon kicks. Make the announcer go, show me your moves. Where is he? This pitch attention on this thing is nice. I seem to have... Wait, am I confused? I might be confused. I think I've got to write down the time for Slalom. No, no. Fair enough, like, I usually don't mind announcers, it's just, sometimes they're kind of silly in this franchise where it's like, they're just not being helpful, <laughs> like they're just being very excited when you're literally just going from more than 5 seconds ahead to less than 5 seconds ahead, so it's, um, I think it's fair that this guy gets some get some flack, you know. Like if he if he reacted to like doing big skips, that would be sick. You know? Let him go like, whoa! You're doing great! <laughs> okay, maybe not that, but like, you know. Have him shout funny things when you're actually doing good stuff. Uh, Nightmare is a very good track. Damn, going all soundly terrible. Yeah, I think the announcer in X is decent. It's just hard to tell what he says sometimes. Compressed as voice lines. Two 
I missed, okay. Seven. Let's see if we can get a sip of my drink in. Good job. <laughs> Not the best timing for that at all. <laughs> but when is it, to be honest? Kinda, yeah. I guess it works for being like simple gameplay-wise. Just not every joke will land, but I think that's okay, honestly. I mean, Lost Landing is decently long. Good job. Uh, 36 and 5, fuck. <laughs> See, this is what happens when Undead Force isn't here. <laughs> I become more of a mess than usual. 36.45 there it is. He was ready for me to die. I'm not gonna die. Ooh, okay. Well, I'm alive, so... So far, so good. Yo, <laughs> SHB. Indeed, it's... It's my home. Let's go! That was sick. I didn't die. Thank you, Jay Dizzle. Yeah, believe in the Jay Dizzle that believes in you. I just gotta do that one more time, but with a... I mean, okay. I didn't get to lab one skip, so we're still gonna have to revisit it. Um, and I still have to do the other Mist Flow. But I didn't die, so that's good.
Dizzle, don't tell them about the C S C R I P T. I definitely forgot how to spell for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay on that force. The run I'm going up against has like no deaths up until Platinum Cup. We still have a chance to catch up if I just don't die then. And if I don't die before then. I did watch the last direct. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> it's never the one more thing. There's no reason to think there's ever F0. <laughs> That's a great Jade Isle. Well. Huh. No, to self pay attention. I'm not the biggest fan of the art style and the fact that he can turn into an elephant. Um, but I mean, hey, it's, it's a new 2D Mario that's not just trying to be old 2D Mario, so maybe it's good. Curious to see where it goes. I just I don't like Elephant Mario. Elephant Mario is real and it will hurt me. Wonderful. Good job. I said the right track? I think I did. I don't know, I feel like art styles tend to have to grow on me. I wasn't a big fan of the way the Link's Awakening uh, remaster looked either, but then after seeing it a few times I was like, yeah, it's kind of cute. Was there anything interesting? Not for me, personally. I honestly forget <laughs> what was even announced. Uh, I think it was like a Pikmin... Pikmin 1 plus 2 thing, right? Nah! God damn it! I just love this track so much, I wanted to play it for another lap. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, the fucking farming games, the various day life type game. <laughs> There's so many of them by now. Oh yeah, Mario RPG Remake, that's interesting enough. And the new Princess Peach game? I'm... I'm intrigued. We need more Peach. Where she's not just being a helpless princess. I hope it's not gonna be like super... marketed to girls like... the way they always do. Where they just make the game like way too easy. 
Give us fucking Princess Peach Dark Souls game. Do it. Cowards. That wasn't very good. But that's okay. Execute. <laughs> ah. I'm. Why is that a best segment? That didn't feel that good. Ah. <laughs> Moving on. Front line? Two. Yeah, there's two things I'm hoping for but not expecting if we direct, and that's either Golden Sun or F Zero. And every time I'm disappointed. Every single time. Yo, Falco! Thank you so much for 52 months. I always forget that it's been so long since I've even been an affiliate. Hope you're doing alright. You've been playing any Mario or F Zero? Ah, that one, that one. Oh yeah, Silk Song. That's fair. Like with Golden Sun Four. Go Golden Sun. I mean, like Golden Sun Four is what I would want the most. I'd be fine with just a re-release of 1 plus 2. HD remaster of Dark Dawn would be cool, but unlikely. Um, but I actually don't necessarily want a remaster of 1 and 2 unless it's like completely different. But I can't say I'd be interested in like the Octopath Traveler style visuals for Golden Sun. That's not gonna make it. Like, it just... The sprite art is already so good, it really doesn't need a remake. Unless you're gonna, you know, do like an FF7 remake and just make it completely different. It's like, not turn-based. Any more SM64? Ah, uh, heck yeah. Oh, I still have a boost. I didn't think I did. Well, no, I also don't care for those visuals. Like, I, I think it was cool for the one game, but like... I don't know. It doesn't do much for me. And people are always like, oh my god, I hope they release this SNES or GBA game in this style. And I'm just like, nah. Nah, I'm good. But then again, I also don't want them to just like have higher res sprite art. Like, make it look like an RPG Maker game. I just want Golden Sun 1 and 2 as they are. And I want Dark Dawn remastered. And I would go on some for I want Golden Sun 4, which is parts. Like, it's two parts. It's both Dark Dawn Remaster, Remake, Remake. And parts New Story. Is that too much to ask? Is really bad. It kind of is? Why? Climax looks freaking great. A lot of GBA games look great, honestly. 
But yeah. Honestly, even just putting Dark Dawn at a native resolution greater than the DS's, it already looks so much better, like, immediately. Like, it's been so long since Dark Dawn that I think a bit of a recap is due. Like, a lot of people are not gonna have played it or remember what happened in it. So I think a game that remakes Dark Dawn and expands upon it with new story, because there's a lot of stuff that's like not, not fully close, like not addressed anymore. Fucking cutting it. Um, I had my speed, I was not expecting to have my speed. This is... I didn't even do the shortcut. I guess because I hit the walls. Um, I'm paying attention, I promise. Anyway. It's been long enough since the, that game came out that I think it's due for a recap and there's just... a lot of things that it like... a lot of plot points that it started up and never closed, so... I think a game that combines those two things would be cool. Yeah, that was that was quite something right there. Yeah, like it's really hard to beat good sprite art. The only thing I could see about Golden Sun 1 and 2 is that the world map, like the scaling, kind of creates some like weird looking scaling. Like, the character looks kind of weird at certain like scales of the world map. Um, and there's like that weird jitter effect. But yeah, mostly Golden Sun 1 and 2 I just want as they are. Maybe combined into one patch, you know? So you don't have to do shenanigans with the link cable or passwords. But I don't know, man. I, I also just really want Dark Dawn to get a chance because a lot of people have played Golden Sun 1 or 2. It is eventually, or at least Golden Sun 1 is eventually coming to Switch Online. Dark Dawn is just forgotten because it's only half a story. And it's way too easy. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm already pretty happy with them being there. But yeah. You know, Night for Red, the YouTuber, has said several times that it's more important to remake flawed games than games that are already great. If it's a game that has a lot of potential but did a few things wrong that hold it back, those are the ones that need to remake the most. So they can fix those issues and have just a really good game. Rather than a game that's already good and then it's just still good again. Even when the original is still very much playable. Yeah, same Falco. I should look into if those are any more available now. Because whenever I tried to play f X Online, it was really difficult with the 8 bit do controller I'm using right now. Yeah, there's so many games that have a lot of potential, but they just get polished up a little bit. Yeah, understandable, Falco. It's really not great. And the stick sensitivity is just such a big issue. Two 
It's playable. I've played it. It's absolute hell to actually try to play well. <laughs> like, I've done a few online races, and aside from online itself being shaky, it's so hard to play that game without, like, accidentally losing your grip and, like... I don't know, just steering well, in general. Got to write down my time there. Choose your vehicle. Wild goose. But yeah, I don't know, this is you know I tend to like games that are the black sheep of their franchise. I like Dark Dawn. I guess Sun Conleash doesn't really qualify nowadays. But like Sonic Unleashed got like a really good uh, port with the Series S and X. Actually running at solid frame rates for once. I just want more of my Black Sheep games to get another chance, you know? Polish them up, fix some of their issues, put them out again. Come to think of it, it's kind of rare for me to just have my favorite game in a series be the most popular one. I don't know if like my brain just inherently tries to be like a rebel and be like Oh, that game that everybody loves and says is perfect? No, I don't like that. This one, that has many issues. This I like. But it kind of just <laughs> naturally happens, I don't know. Like... I didn't think Ocarina of Time was that good. And I don't think Breath of the Wild was a perfect game. Definitely not my favorites. Neither of them could ever be my favorites. It's like so many games you could just play on emulator, and it's better than any official ver official version. Like OT was really revolutionary. I don't think it's that. Interesting nowadays. Uh, uh, Twilight Princess is good. Uh, my favorite will always be Majora's or was Majora's Mask. I don't know. I think Tears of the Kingdom may have won me over, yeah, but I've not beaten it yet. So. Shh. Um. <laughs> yeah, Lorxu. I I get you. That's entirely. How it goes. Majora's Mask is like really good. But yeah, I don't know. Like, t a lot of people built up Breath of the Wild for me in a way that it could just never live up to. I hyped it up in a way that it could never live up to. I was like, oh my god, it's a Zelda game, but it's not like a Zelda game. It's different. I was really excited for it, and I just couldn't get into it. While well, everybody else was like, oh my god, my new favorite game ever. And... I feel like with Tears of the Kingdom, I finally got what I wanted out of Breath of the Wild. Yeah, Tears is like... Really good.
I think Twilight Princess has a lot of good stuff going on. I just always kind of struggle to get into it. It starts off slow. It's... I never like those, like, sections where you're playing as Wolf Link and you have to collect all the lights. I am doing absolutely terrible at keeping track of my times, by the way. Holy fuck. <laughs> I've not written one down in the past three times. Uh, three tracks. Four tracks, actually. Um, yeah. And by that time, I, I just never really get that far, ever. Like, I'll play until the first time I am Wolf Link. Maybe I get slightly further. And then I'm... I don't know, I just never pick it up again. I have beaten it before. But only once. Wind Waker, I think I've beaten... Twice. I quite like Wind Waker. I think it generally has slightly better pacing. And it's just generally more of my alley. Dang it. I'm making so many sloppy mistakes today. We're currently on 63, 62. Illusion 2. And ESL that was pretty pog. I don't care for the original. I really like Zelda 2 though. Again, black sheep. <laughs> it just always ends up being like that. Three, two, one. Yeah, look, so I, I love when I can just alt tab out of the game, even when it's full screen. I think of like more black sheep games that I really like. I mean, out of like the classic Sonic games, I think Sonic CD is my favorite. Not one or two or three in Knuckles, which the counts. Black Sheep of the F Zero series, maximum velocity, for sure. Good job. It gets slept on a lot. A lot of casuals just didn't really like it. Like I think it's pretty solid. Well, those aren't really Black Sheep because people don't look down upon them, they just might not know about them. Yeah, but MV gets a lot of flack from casual players. I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> It's those rails that really slow me down. Do I just take the long way? I should take the long way. So I can do the skip with a bit more speed. I didn't even write down my illusion time. <laughs> yeah, this, this really fell apart fast. It just feels so... Like, it's not much slower, but it feels so bad going around the outside here.
Okay, Rail, thank you for hanging out. Always nice having you. Good luck with your duties. I have no idea if this is going to work out boost pattern wise. It's not looking great. But it's not too bad. The speed retention on this thing is good enough. <laughs> I mean, honestly, fair guess. Uh, 60, uh, 60, 67. I think it was. Oh god. Did I even split? Yes. Well, me having to keep track of my own times, as it turns out, it doesn't work great when I'm having conversations. <laughs> uh, massive shoutouts to Undead Force for taking that task off my hands. I forgot where to jump to. You all know what I've been playing the past couple days? Fucking Pokemon Rumble. And not just Pokemon Rumble, Pokemon Rumble Weekend Edition. Which is really good. So normally Pokemon Rumble has Generation 1 and 4 Pokemon and nothing in between. Which creates some very weird evolution lines. <laughs> but Weekend Edition adds them back in, because they do have data in the games. The game actually knows if you put in a Pokemon's Pokedex ID, which Pokemon it's meant to be, what their stats are, and what moves they should have. They just don't have a model, normally. And this mod adds them back in. And they're all available to get in... ...different mode called, or like a different rank, I guess it is. A uh, GX rank. Unrelated to F0 GX, but still funny. Um, and we just completed the decks today, so that was cool. Spent about a fucking year looking for a Celebi and Deoxys, but got them in the end. But if you've ever looked at Pokemon Rumble and been like, damn, I wish there was Gen 2 and 3 Pokemon, get the mod. It's really good. It's a little bit jank, but it's good. Definitely. We got another freaking time to write down. Yeah, you love it when modders just make a game better. Oh gosh, am I gonna be able to make the skip here? Too much grind, understandable. I felt the same way. I'm not gonna go, for that skip. Um, at some point I was like, yeah, I really, really wanna get my PBs back since I lost all my replays when my memory card corrupted. But, ah, uh, it's a daunting task. I kinda would rather just get good at GX Stream. <laughs> G Extreme is fucking based.
Oh, that was so close to working. Damn. Yeah. yeah, it would be cool to be good at GX. Like, good, good. That was sick. You're actually meant to, like, hit the finish line in the air. So you get the finish line or the lap to count, and then you land back at the end of the track. It's... It's really good. It saves a lot of time. Cuts the final lap down to like 4 seconds. Um, but it is very, very precise. I forgot to write down my time. Shiny Machamp! Shiny Machamp! Pog. Very good. Didn't find a single one in C yet. Aww. Would you eat something if I make soup? Sorry? Would you eat something if I make soup? Uh, yeah, for sure. Okay. Oh, we've, we've been grinding that Pokemon Rumble together. Apparently there's other Pokemon Rumble games. But... I think this 3DS one had an energy system. It was like free to play but it had energy. Which fucking sucks. I don't know if there's a way to not have an energy restriction if I use my totally legit unmodified console. And that might be fun, actually. It's also one on Wii U, but I've heard not as many good things about it. And I want to say there was another one on a different platform. Three, yeah, understandable. Two, I fire. I did complete the Galar decks, except for the DLCs. I never completed the DLCs, just the base Galar decks at 400. And I completed the decks in Scarlet Violet. A shiny hunted an Absol in Sword Shield. I've done a lot of shinies in Scarlet Violet. But I didn't really specifically grind for any. Uh, playing Pokemon Go every day kinda counts. Yo, that was kind of sick, though. Wonderful. Also, you saying I play Pokemon Go every day made me think of that fucking song that the kid sang. That's very well sung. Definitely hit those notes. Mm -hmm. Now and then I check out Pokemon Go again. But usually just like one session. Never really go on big walks. I mean, the weather's been fucking warm, so that doesn't help. It's been either warm as fuck or it's been raining like crazy. It sucks. <laughs> Last week on like Wednesday there was this storm. And then like. The past few days, it's been like 30-ish degrees. <laughs> Is that the song? Fuck this track, by the way. <laughs> well, you're very welcome for reminding you. <laughs> oh, fuck. I was adjusting my earphones right there. This track sucks. 
didn't even care to avoid the wall. Uh, ping. Uh, I will mark it because that wall hit and the general performance was very subpar. But oh my god, I hate this track. Was Misha the one that made the Pokemon Go song? Actually, good stuff? Oh. Okay, we stand. Like the glow up from cringe, not well executed to actually good stuff. Like sticking with it even when the entire internet's laughing at you. That's that's honestly sick. Don't kill the part of you that is cringe, kill the part that cringes. Everybody should be cringe, to be honest. God damn it. Yeah, right? <laughs> it didn't come up with it, but it sure is good. Yeah, like it's it's cringe to not be yourself. Your to be honest. Your vehicle, Three, two, but Falco, I I kind of wonder, have you completed the decks? Like, what what's the main thing you still do every day? Are you still like actively rate battling? Because I don't know how much content they've been adding at all. <laughs> Same lurk suit. I'm still too afraid of what people um, what people think of me. Completed the first three gen stacks. Okay. All gens are out. Wait, there's Galar Pokemon? There's wait, there's there's uh, what's the region called? <laughs> Scarlet Violet Pokemon? Last I saw, it was only um, a Lola and Pokemon. I don't know what I'm doing here. I guess I'm turning back. <laughs> Not all the Pokemon. Mm. I definitely just forgot how to do my boost pattern. Don't mind me. I like how to. I forgot to prepare for the skip. I guess that's what happens. Damn, that's kind of sick. I should check that out. I There's quite a number of Scarlet Violet books that I do like. And I forgot to write this one down. 7360. Uh, fair enough. Oh, that just reminded me. Rumble has such a funny way of doing quote-unquote evolution. So, you can get Fion by releasing a Lapras and a Vaporeon at the same time. And if you release three Fion, you get Manaphy. It's fucking wild. <laughs> Also, Arceus isn't normally in that game, but they are in Weekend Edition, which is really based. Oh, Cacleon only just came out? That's so weird. I... I'm sad. <laughs> I guess this run was dead anyway. That's fine. Three, two, one. No, I'm not out yet? What? Pokemon Go. Ah. Apparently there's like Gen 8 and 9 Pokemon. But previous gens are still missing Pokemon. Wow. 
I still want to get into the... You should. I have some EV. Mine. <laughs> yeah, I carry um... No. Get rid of every Pokemon. Uh, including the Shinies? No. <laughs> Except for... Of course, the favorite ones, but also... Just... Now we have at least two each, or less, of every one that we had. Okay, including the Staraptor, or...? Well, the favorites are still favorites. Ah, okay. Okay, that's fair enough. Mm. Definitely didn't need all of those lit sitting around. Mm. Three, so we still have two of each, one. or less. Fire. Very cool. Still have 50 pages. Yeah, fair enough. At least that leaves us a lot of leeway to still get new ones. Well, I'm, I was like thinking because on C rank they don't really drop any Pokemon with a, with special traits. Yeah. Well, tiny Pokemon always have a special trait. Right. So okay. I don't know if they can be shiny. Too. But I've seen people on the Discord. Uh, having Pokemon in rank C. I'm just trying to see if yeah, I just want to double check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, like see if you if you can see what their power level is. Maybe they just got them from EX instead. Mm, no, they did say so. So there's the Pokemon, uh, the, the Professor Oak Challenge channel, and someone was like, I'm gonna go. To the next level, I'm gonna do the Professor Oak Challenge, but with shinies instead. Oh and god. That they have a shiny Ivysaur and a shiny Caterpie. So according to that, that should mean that you can. Well, yeah, I guess so. I guess I just have to find out because I was like, I don't know, just just going to Stalin Forest C for an hour and I didn't get anything. Um, with Deoxys, you know? Yeah. Of course I can always be looking, but as soon as I went to... Um, normal S. Uh huh. St uh, Travis Trump, my champ. <laughs> hmm. I, I feel like the shiny odds should be the same. Like, just because you can't get, like, a random one with an ability <laughs> in C rank. I'm still expecting it to work for. Yeah, I'll just. I just. I guess I just have to believe that person has supposed to force. Because it was, a, it was an Ivy Sword with, like, 74 power with shiny. Oh, uh, okay. So that, you know, should work. Yeah, definitely. It's a matter of get lucky. It's rough, there's not a lot of information about Rumble out there. Yeah, we'd love to compile like a... Um, like with confirmation from ourselves, just a FAQ, basically. Yeah. Of things that we want to know. So, uh, that... Martha person also definitely said that they are shiny locked in from a ticket. Like Yeah, I feel like with I think that's no one much. like no one having said that they've gotten a shiny from a ticket, <laughs> it it has to just be shiny locked. Yeah. And there are these two specific shiny Pokemon passwords and that's it. Yeah. That's so sad though. Yeah. At least uh at least the weekend edition adds all the Pokemon that were ticket only as well and count as a real stick. Yeah. I don't have boost. Let's go. <laughs> Love you. Goodbye. Good job. I shouldn't get this time. I already did. I just did, and I already forgot that I did. Incredible. So, Falco, is level 50 the max right now? That seems like a lot. If 
tactical wall hits. That one, not so much. Thirty million. Damn, that's that is gonna take forever. <laughs> Today's been fucking rough in terms of times I've been getting. I think I died in every stage that the PB also died on. Never had the chance to catch up. favorite things to do in Scarlet Violet was glitch hunting, but I've been out of it for such a long time, and there's probably not much more to find, or at least not much more that I could find, that I don't even know if I'm gonna be picking up the DLC, even though I really enjoyed playing the game when I did. My brain gets so weird about like being super into a game and then like being completely out of it as well. But I just haven't played for a while. Good job. So this run was I mean 125 is not bad. Let's be real. It's just I didn't take any of the chances I had to actually game time. Which is a little bit sad. Alright, so. I've got some work to do checking the VOD, because I missed a lot of times. Um, and I'm gonna enter them into the spreadsheets. Oh really? Weird. Also, thank you so much! For 21 months. Much appreciated, as always. So, how's Kingdom Hearts 2 been so far? Cool. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go get soup as well. Falco, I've been thinking about that, honestly. Just need to find a time where I feel up for it. Like, the fact that I've even just been <laughs> struggling to do F-Zero Fridays, it's not great. Um, but yeah, I, I've, I've actually been thinking that that would be fun to do. Huh? I should try. Okay, so um Yeah, fair enough. I'm gonna go check out the times that I missed. and enter them into the spreadsheet and then figure out which ones I want to improve upon. And I'm also going to get soup. And we can have some baguette with it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'll be back soon. I'll play some ads when I get back from food. 
because that means we can maximize the amount of time that I don't have pre-roll ads when I'm actually here again. Um, yeah, so I'll be back in, let's say, 10 minutes. How about that? See you all soon. Alright, so... Like I said, we're gonna do things a little bit differently, just because of how things have gone with the tracking. Which, honestly, mostly just because I'm bad at keeping track of stuff myself. <laughs> so we're gonna enter the times that I have now. And then based on that, we're gonna see which tracks to redo. I started entering some already, and then I was like, oh yeah, I could just do this on stream. So let's do that. That's definitely a stinker right there. I already know the main ones that I want to redo, to be honest. It's not the ones that have small mistakes, because I don't have time to optimize everything tonight. Uh, it's the ones where I failed to get the big skips or had really bad mistakes. I'm really out of it. Okay, let me, let me just go check this. Um, I had a better time here. Not better here. Let me beat my here again. Which admittedly was one of my bad times, but yeah. Yeah, the goose will get a reduction eventually. I'll see what I can do for today. So this is where we're standing right now, but that is not where we're gonna stay because it's a lot, it's a lot of improvement to be had here. Select your mode. I'm attack. Select your so the big ones. Let's start with twin cores. Oop, it's still very, very hot. Three, so I'll wait with that. One, 
Yeah, so my main my main targets here are twin cores, great wings, Three, two, one, mist ring, one. and puzzle ring. And from there we'll see what I still have time for. I was wondering if that would work. I'm glad I did. That was to be expected. <laughs> I was like so far out. I'm really surprised that one worked too. Damn. And of course that would hit a wall. I'd be surprised that that actually works. Hey, let's go! Great! Wild Goose, Twin Chorus, Seventy Five, Ninety One. Let's do Mist Ring because I missed a Lab One shortcut. Very nice. Now to do boost ups. I just completely dodged that. Damn. I was trying to set up the turn. <laughs> Didn't mean to just dodge the jump plate.
I made it. Bad landing on the jump plate. You hate to see it. Three, two, one. No. <laughs> what? You took the coin. I I've had it here. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's my hydration for today. Ola does my hydration. Does. Barely. I just got mosquitoed. I didn't need this after. Thank you. I actually felt it on my own. Very rude. Have some soup. As we listen to the sound music. Okay, I'm glad that made it. That was kind of sketchy. Had to travel a long way. Always this track and puzzle wing and great wings. Come on. 
I've still got other tracks to do. That was close. That's good. Good job. Uh, oops. Yeah, this string. Let's do puzzle ring. I had four laps. That's quite painful. Or was it this one that had four laps? I think it was. Yeah, I remember worrying about that energy strip. That was crazy. <laughs> we take those. It's in 14. Alright, what's what's some other big stinkers here? Watch Hill was bad, Sky Highway 2 was bad. But which ones are the worst? Maybe I should have my frame of reference be a bit larger here. <laughs> Up to... Oh yeah, that's too much. These three. Okay, let's compare. Chill was really quite bad. That's the contender for the next one. We could do There's not as many that really, like, jump out at you, as I expected. Half Dome. Yeah, Half Dome was the worst. Okay, let's do Half Dome. Uh, 
Halftime 2 was bad, but not too bad. Oh, big below. God damn it. Half down, big below. Great Wings. I thought Great Wings was acceptable on the retry, but I guess. I guess it wasn't. Oh, yeah, I landed on the wrong place, of course. That makes sense. Okay, Great Wings is actually the biggest offender here, I think. No, it helped on this. Definitely helped him. So let's go half them. Then we'll go Great Wings. I've already forgotten what the third track was that I needed to redo. Big Billow, of course. Of course it'd be Big Billow. gonna take a bite of my baguette. Let's go, Great Wings.
Guns are very rough for the use. Use that already. But that works. Okay. <laughs> that definitely works. Good job. Okay, okay. That wasn't even. Uh, I was expecting a bigger improvement there. Well, whatever. Um, let's go big below and then see how we're how we're doing. I can't believe I'm doing this. Doing this to myself again. So good. Uh, so far, not so good anymore. That is not a lot of energy to have left. Or a lot of speed. But I hear it's meant to be. Did I? Stanley changed her Red Bull time. Oh, I'm bad. Okay. I'm glad I noticed that. So that's. This is meant to be 5623. That explains. I should go back to like here. Just to get less confused. Oops. That improvement makes a lot more sense now. Uh, this is the 802. Yeah. Well, that is was not great, but like ugh, this track is really rough for low speed retention machines. Or low acceleration machines. Right now we're sitting at 54, 25. The goose does deserve a lot better than this. I just don't know if I can do it today. Let's go R2. I suppose that's just not very good. I have another bite on my baguette. tracks are in this game. That 
that's embarrassing. At least I was right about where a uh, slalom would be. It was our chill. I guess it's because I only did the shortcut on one lap. And Oria missed it. Well, now I was very confused thinking this was the one where you can't do it on that. Well, yeah, where you can't do the massive shortcut, although that reminds me I should do it on slalom, like the smaller shortcuts. If the time there is like bad enough that I would want to come back for it anyway. Hey, janky landing. <laughs> Damn, that was crazy. Okay, so slalom could be better, but it's not like terrible. Um, I want to pick out like their big offender somewhere. Sky Highway Two is like mediocre, but it's acceptable. There's just a lot of track where I lost like two or three seconds. To be honest. Our trace is room for improvement, but it's fine enough. A big billow some more. <laughs> no silence too, wait, what is that? That's not good. Silence too it is. And that'll be the last one for today. Shorter stream than usual, but I started stream late. Three, 
because of shenanigans. And I don't want to go to sleep soon because I have work tomorrow. My soup uninterrupted. Drink my soup? Have my soup. I don't mind if I do. So there's definitely still room for improvement in the Goose spreadsheets or the Goose lineup. The Goose total time. Um, but it's just not gonna be today, unfortunately. As much as it hurts me to see a 54 minute time. I haven't had a time that high since White Cats. Which sounds dramatic, but it's like not actually that long ago. Uh, so, I don't know. Goose is good, but it definitely suffers on tracks with a lot of sharp turns. Uh, if someone else feels so inclined to improve this, do it. Join in on the fun. As for now, acceptable. It'll do. Um, but I, I probably will come back to it at some point. Set some better times. Do another goo stream. And it'll be good. So. Thanks for hanging out for another F-Zero Fridays. Hope to see you next time.